Therefore, I do think though that we need to prepare for Mali type cases in which we will be on our own, meaning the Europeans will be by themselves to take care of an issue like Mali. I think we are capable of that if you want to, but it does mean that you need a force that can take part in, in this sort of yeah, peacekeeping or robust peacekeeping, uh, or at times which is very close to peace enforcement. In order to have a national force that is employable in many scenarios, that, that has become very difficult, right? Um, I, I opened the military balance to look at, at uh, Irish forces compared with the Belgian forces. And in a way, they are similar. Uh, Ireland's uh, two brigades, we, we combined our forces into, into one brigade of similar size, uh, actually. The fact is, we both have infantry. Uh, uh, but, but neither of us have all the uh, combat support and combat service support units that sh such a brigade would need if you want to be able to use it in every possible scenario, right? The Irish, an Irish brigade or a Belgian brigade by itself could not now be deployed in Mali and take care of itself. In order to make sure that, that our forces are employable in many more scenarios, I think it would make sense to anchor them in permanent multinational units. So I would urge in an exercise like this, not only to look at the national Irish context, but to look at the multinational EU context. Um, my idea is that a brigade is the, the smallest national building block of, of such military integration, um, because it's the smallest um, independent, independent force. But if you can anchor, if you anchor a national brigade in, on a permanent basis into a multinational divisional core, then you can arrange at divisional core level to have all the different combat support and combat service support units that you will need. And suddenly your brigade, which by itself is incomplete, so to say, could be uh, employable in all scenarios.